This video is for you if you'd like to connect into I am God source and have a conversation. Hi, I'm Erin Worley. I started the process that I will be teaching you here today back in 2011. And within 30 days, I was having my own conversation with I am. I have since published my book about this experience called One Truth, One Law, I Am, I Create. And I've sold 80,000 copies and had like 500,000 listens on the audiobook. I'm going to share the entire process that I followed in this video. I've also created a free quantum meditation to help you accelerate the process into hearing I am. It's called the inner voice meditation, and I will leave the link for that below. Of course, depending on your life path, you may have already had an experience or two in your life where you have heard I am's voice, but to do it reliably on a daily basis, you'll want to follow these steps. Step one is the intention to connect into I am. We get what we intend. So if we close our eyes with the intention to relax, that's what we're going to get most of the time. So we want to start our daily practice here with a specific intention to connect into I am. Step two is to let go. Allow where you are right now to be okay and know that your connection to I am is going to drop in in divine timing. Step number three is awareness. I am comes through as thoughts in your mind. If you don't have awareness over thoughts in your mind, you're not going to recognize the difference between I am and the other thoughts. We have three kinds of thoughts. The first kinds of thoughts that are in our mind are subconscious thoughts. If you've never practiced awareness before, probably about 95% of your thoughts are subconscious, running on autopilot. Subconscious thoughts make it hard to create change. It's your subconscious's job to keep you alive. It knows that what you've experienced up until now has kept you alive, no matter how miserable or okay the experience has been. Anything that you have not experienced is unknown. And to the subconscious, that means it comes with too much risk that you might die. Your subconscious does whatever it has to to keep you from expanding into more, including making you feel miserable and worthless. Like there's no point in trying for more because you suck. The second kind of thoughts that you have within your mind are your conscious thoughts. The more aware you become of your subconscious thoughts, the more time that you spend in conscious thought. Conscious thoughts are more expansive and they're more aware of your own power to change and move into more. They can be negative or judgmental, of course, but this is where your power to choose change in your life lies. The third types of thoughts are I am. I am thoughts tend to believe that limitless possibilities exist and that you are amazing and powerful, absolutely wonderful. I am believes in you and never judges you. I am is always there in your mind, but most people can't distinguish I am's voice because of a lack of awareness of these three types of thoughts. So to gain more awareness so that you can begin to distinguish the I am thoughts from the conscious and subconscious thoughts, you'll start exactly the same way I started back in 2011 by listening to the thoughts in your head. Step number three in the process is to set aside 30 minutes a day to sit or lie quietly with your eyes closed because you're going to go back to step one and set your intention to connect into I am. Then you're going to let go and allow yourself to become aware. Step number four is to ask yourself a question. Now, the question itself doesn't matter in the slightest. What the question does is it gives the thoughts in your mind a prompt so that they can begin to come through and you can then have awareness and listen. So some ideas for questions are, what is my life purpose? Am I moving in the right direction in life? Or should I take X action? Then listen. Be aware of what comes through. Now, depending on the awareness practice that you've already created or haven't created, you might just hear tons of negativity, tons of thoughts of this is stupid, you shouldn't be doing this, you're no good at all. Or you might hear some thoughts that say things are possible. What you hear isn't important, it's the practice of listening at this point that matters. 
Another thing that you can do instead of asking yourself a question is give yourself a compliment. Listen for what's your gut reaction to a compliment. For me, when I started, it was super, super negative and saying something like a compliment really helped me begin to have awareness over those negative subconscious thoughts. Step number five, now that you've given yourself some sort of a prompt, you're just going to listen. This isn't the type of meditation where you want to focus your breathing or push your thoughts away. You are simply listening to your thoughts here. You will probably get distracted and that's just fine. When you are aware that you have been off on a tangent, just come back to listening. You're going to become aware of a lot of awful, nasty subconscious thoughts. I want you to identify those as not true, no matter how true they might seem. Step number six is after the 30 minutes are over, I want you to spend a few minutes jotting down all the thoughts that you can remember. After you've written them down, go through and label them as subconscious, conscious, or I am. And you want to repeat this process every day for 30 days. As the days go on, you're going to begin to distinguish between these three types of thoughts within your head. After some time, a few days, a few weeks, the timing is going to be different for everyone. You'll start to recognize your subconscious thoughts pretty easily. It's going to be like they're a tape recorder saying the same old garbage over and over and over again. So when you do start to recognize those subconscious thoughts, I want you to move into being the voice of love. Speak to yourself like you would a dear friend or loved one. I hear that you're hurt. I hear that you're scared. I trust that all is unfolding for us, that we are moving into better things. I love you. So step number seven is when you recognize your subconscious. After you send it love, move your attention back into your intention to connect in with I am. Say, I'm here to speak to I am, and then start asking questions. Then listen. It's a process. It takes practice. But let me tell you, the people that have done this with me, whoosh, like, oh my goodness. I am blown away by the conversations that come through them. And you deserve this experience.